Hi, this is Leah from Palming Grace. This is a video tutorial for our to-do list with priority breakdowns. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use a spreadsheet and all of the great features that are included. If you have any questions, please be sure to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. So without further ado, let's get into the video tutorial. The very first tab is the start tab. Now, as you can see, I've already pre-filled out this tab with some to-do list categories and to-do list status options. You can customize these completely to your liking. It's also important to select the day of the week that you start your week off with. So for me, that is Sunday. Once you have filled out the start tab to your liking, you can now move on to the rest of the spreadsheet. The next tab is the dashboard tab, but as you can see, since we don't have anything filled out yet, it's completely blank. So we'll come back to this tab later when we have more filled out. The next tab is the to-do list tab. This is the tab where you keep track of all of your tasks. Now, as you can see, it's pretty empty right now, but that will quickly change. One thing that's important to note is that there are some columns with the asterisk sign. It's important that you fill out any columns with the asterisk sign because it means the information in that column will be used to fill out formulas for the dashboard tab and for the rest of the to-do list tab. Also, you can see this darker shaded column right here, and that means that it's completely automated and you don't need to type in anything into this column. To add in a task, you can first add in a task description. You can then select a category from the dropdown, a priority, a status option, a start date, and a due date. You can also add in an end date when it was completed. Then lastly, you can add in any notes over here. When you add in notes, you may notice that it looks cut off. However, if you double click, you'll be able to see the full details. Scrolling right, we can now see the task that we added under the high priority column. What's great about this section is that you can easily click this arrow here and jump right back to the task over here. That way you can easily jump to it and update it. So for example, if I check that it has been completed, then it will also update over here as so. Here's an example of what the to-do list looks like when more tasks have been added. One thing to note is that you'll see this section over here that says turn colors on and off. If you click this checkbox, colors will be added and you'll be able to easily see which tasks have been completed, which tasks are due on the current day, which will show up bolded, and which tasks are overdue, which will show up in red. If we move over to the breakdown by priority, you'll be able to see what it looks like as more items have been added and checked off. In each of the sections, the non-completed tasks will be in order by due date. The completed tasks will be in order by the date that they have been completed. However, it's completely fine to not add in a date that the task has been completed, and those tasks will just fall down to the bottom of the list. So this breakdown by priority section can really help you to see which tasks you need to do and which tasks you have yet to do. So this breakdown by priority section will easily help you to see which tasks you have to do and when, and which tasks you've already completed and when as well. And of course, as you check tasks off, the charts will automatically update. You can easily sort and filter the tasks as well by selecting the three lines next to any column title and either sorting or filtering here. This is especially helpful to do with the due dates. Now that we have more tasks added in, here's what the dashboard tab looks like. Everything on this tab is completely automated. The only things that you can change are the drop downs over here. As you can see, the tasks are still color coded, so overdue tasks show up in red and tasks that are due today are bolded. You can also scroll down here to see a full list of the upcoming tasks that you have due. And again, you can jump right over to any of the tasks in the to-do list by clicking the arrow and clicking the hyperlink. Up here, you can see automated charts, which update as you add and check off items in the to-do list. You can see total counts of your tasks and your completion over here as well. Lastly is the single calendar tab. This tab is amazing for seeing in calendar form what tasks you have to do. The very first thing you'll want to do is select a month and a year. The calendar will not populate until you've selected both a month and year. Once you've done that, your task should automatically update. This calendar makes it easy to see which tasks you have done, which have the green check mark, and the tasks that you have yet to do, which have the gray arrow. And of course, you can still jump back to any task in your to-do list. If you scroll over to the right, you can see a full list of all the tasks that you have. 
and you can see a count of how many are showing out of the total number of tasks. So if they do happen to get cut off, you can still see how many total tasks you have. You may notice if you have many tasks that they're not all going to fit in the calendar, such as this section over here. It shows four tasks and then it shows plus two more. That's what this section over here is great for. You can search for any specific date in the month and see all the tasks that are due that day. And when you want to view a different month, all you have to do is change the month and you can also change the year as well. And that is how to use the single calendar tab. So that is it for a video tutorial on this to-do list with the priority breakdowns. If you have any questions at all, please be sure to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. I truly hope that you enjoy this spreadsheet. And if you have not purchased the spreadsheet yet but are interested, I'll add a link to the spreadsheet in the description box below. Thanks again and I hope to see you around again here soon.